Let the church say amen. amen. Church say amen again. Amen, again. Certainly appreciative of all the messages that have been preached this morning. Uh, certainly it's been God's word. Amen. And there has been no division among us. Amen. I want to, uh, at this time, be mindful to always thank God for all his many bountiful blessings. Yeah. For laying down last night and waking up this morning. Uh, you know, I often say the alarm clock doesn't wake us up. You just haul off and die. The alarm clock will go off until somebody else comes in there and shut it off. Uh, to the uh, Brother Warner, uh, someone that I've known since California, uh, I'll take this time to thank you and the electorship committee for allowing me an uh, opportunity to speak on this a great national lectureship, and Amen. thus far you've been doing a job well done. Amen. I know the work because I did a lectureship in California, yeah. and yeah. you just want to see it come together. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, uh, uh, yes, sir, it, it, it's coming together well. It's coming together well. And I want to recognize my wife. She's yeah. a pretty, the pretty one over there. Yeah. Just raise your hand. And that's our our youngest daughter, Danielle. Danielle. Yeah, amen, amen. We're back in California, so we're known as Danielle's parents. <laughs> amen, amen. Our lesson is, uh, text comes from Hebrews, the 12th chapter, uh, beginning at verse uh, number uh, 28. Uh, he writes, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Amen. For our God is a consuming fire. Yes. Amen. Our God is an awesome yes. God. Amen. Consuming means to consume utterly, wholly. A consuming fire and that fire is the holiness of God which consumes all that which is inconsistent therewith if you look at Genesis the 19th chapter uh, brother Crosby Genesis 19 uh, beginning at verse number 24 and ending at verse number 25 what does it say there Four cities were actually destroyed. All the cities are Sodom, Gomorrah, Admah, and Zebulun. Zor was spared because of Lot. The Lord himself rained down fire and brimstone or sulfur down upon the city. That is, God caused the judgment. The fire and brimstone are said twice to have come from the Lord. Why did God do this? Uh, because of their sexual immorality and acceptance 
of homosexuality. I went to the bathroom here, and there are three bathrooms, one for men, one for women, and, somebody, and one for people who are mixed up about their gender. <laughs> And we are accepting that. It's okay, and if you speak against that, then you the bad guy. Let me tell you something. If you mixed up about your sexuality, it's not God's fault. He made them male and female. It wasn't nothing in between. And that's just plain and simple. Don't let me get started on that. And the Bible says uh, he, he overthrew them. He overthrew the city. What does this mean? Well, these cities were in opposition. They were standing against God by their rebellion, their cursing, their sexual immorality. They stood up against God, so therefore God stood up against them, and he overthrew them. God is going to judge us one day. He's not playing. I am God, and I what? Change not. You see, how much like the world today, People curse him, rebel against him, commit all kinds of immorality, want to dress it up, want to call it an affair when it's adultery, want to call it same sex when God said that you stone the man and the woman. Am I right about it? Amen. The day is coming when the Lord's going to overthrow the cities of the earth. He's going to judge and he's going to burn them up. Because the light of his glory cannot stand sin. No person was allowed to enter his hollow and holy uh, 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 presence except the high priest and only once a year. Brother Carl, get Leviticus uh, 16, 1 and 2. Only once a year could he do it. And you know what? They had to tie a rope around his ankle. You know why? In case he wasn't pure, they had to drag him out because they couldn't go in there and get him, Brother Oden. Right. Am I right about it? Right. Because if he died and he was the only high priest, you had to get another high priest. Am I right about it? Right. You had to dig him out of there. What, what, is, what does it say? And the Lord spake unto Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron, mm -hmm. when they offered before the Lord and died. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Moses, Speak unto Aaron thy brother that he come not at all times into the holy place within the veil before the mercy seat, which is upon the ark, that he die not. For I will appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat. Amen. What are you saying, God? God's regulating how often you come into his presence. He regulates how you ought to come into his presence. God is a consuming fire. It means that his nature is a consuming fire, that his nature is holy, and we have to uh, 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 approach him holy, acceptable, yes. with reverence and godly fear. How many people just come the way they want to? We must always remember that the true worship and religion of God are always revealed worship, and it is revealed by God. Not by some man. Some man stand up and say, God told me to tell you. Well, how come he didn't tell me? <laughs> if he wanted me to know, why didn't he tell me? Why did, why did I have to go through you? Amen. Amen. You see, uh, you see, but uh, get Leviticus 10, 1 through 3 uh, uh, for me, Brother Crosby. You see, uh, uh, Nadab and Abihu decided they were going to do what they wanted to do, and they paid for it. Then, then you know what? They paid for it right then and there. I wonder, Brother Bash, if some lightning or some fire came down in the assembly with folks straighten up. Amen. You see, they just some sin, they sins and some ashes with brothers, and nobody want to sit in them pews no more. Am I right about it? You see, God's holy scripture tells us exactly what he wants us to do and how he wants us to do it. He doesn't always tell us why, but you know what? We, uh, 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 if we ignore what God says and reject what God's way, there are consequences. What does Leviticus 10, 1 through 3 say? And they and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, uh -huh. took either of them, their his censers, uh -huh. and put fire therein. 
fire and incense thereon uh -huh. and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. Which he commanded them not. They decided they were going to do what they wanted to do, how they were going to do it. Go on, brother. And there went out fire from the Lord uh -huh. and devoured them. Uh -huh. And they died before the Lord. Uh -huh. Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is it that the Lord spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh to me. And before all the people, I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. Aaron better had held his peace. There was some more fire where that came from. These boys. These boys. Amen. These, bo these boys who knew uh, what God said because God had told them all. Decided that they were going to do what they wanted to do. And you know what? Fire came down, Brother Odom, and just ate them up. And you know what? Uh, and fear came upon the congregation. But you know, the next day they were still doing the same thing. How many in the Lord's church are doing what they want to do? They doing what they want to do because they went to some uh, uh, cemetery. To learn how to uh, uh, study God's word when the Bible says line upon line, precept upon precept. We don't have to go no further than the Bible to understand the Bible. And you don't need a degree to do that. Amen. Amen. I, ha I have nothing against education. Uh, John Henry Clay used to say, get all you can, can all you get, use all you can get. But don't think you know more than God. Amen. And you don't know, you, you think education is expensive. Try ignorance. Amen. <laughs> See. Amen. They 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 these two young men, they decided that they were going to ignore God and do what they wanted to do. And God, they paid the ultimate sacrifice because they died on the spot. We may not die physically on the spot when we turn from God's word, but we spiritually, we die on the spot when we get away from God's word. Amen. And you know what? Many of us think just because uh, 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 I went to school, you know, a lot of, a lot of them brothers, they, you know, because I, I, don't, I don't tell folk I, I went to school. That's none of their business. That's my business. They don't know what I have attained. I could have a Ph.D. for all you know. But it ain't none of your business. It ain't going to make me no better or no worse than you. Amen. All they need to know is, am I rightly dividing? First thing, when they don't, uh, when they, when they don't agree with you, they, you, you, you taking it out of context. Well, t tell me how I'm taking it out of context. Well, you don't know what this word means. I do know what this word means. Then after a while, you know what I do? I don't answer them no more. I, I, I don't have time for foolishness. You see, how many like today? who are approaching God as they think he wants to be approached instead of how he ought to be approached. Amen. God is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, not according to you what you want. Uh, Genesis uh, 4, 23 and 24 says, Take heed to yourself, lest uh, you forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you and make for uh, yourselves carved images in the form of every of anything uh, which uh, the Lord your God has forbidden. But uh, for the Lord your God is a consuming fire and a jealous God. God is a jealous God. He's jealous like we're jealous over our children. We don't want our children calling nobody else mom and dad. Amen. You know what? Go live with them then. <laughs> Let them foot your food bill. Amen. They send you back real quick. 
A person has to be, has to be cleansed from sin through atonement uh, 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 process in the Old Testament. They had to go through some things. The high priest had to go through some rituals before he could go into that Holy of Holies. If he didn't, you were going to drag him out by his ankle. Am I right about it? Because if you were foolish enough to do that, I certainly wasn't going in there after you. Amen. In the light of this, the two sons of Aaron uh, uh, circumvented it, and they approached God the way they wanted to. And you know what? They had no right because they weren't the high priest. You see, let, the, let all the earth fear the, fear the Lord. Let all... Uh, Inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. We need, everyone needs to fear the law, the Lord and stand in, in awe of him. God is so awesome. We can't even get into the Bible without finding out how awesome God is. The Bible said, and God created the heavens and earth. He said, let there be light and there was light. What does that mean? God created everything out of nothing. Amen. And the only thing we can make is a mess. <laughs> See, what did he say? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole of man. What does that mean? We need to fear God. And it doesn't mean that when we uh, hear about God, we get in the corner and start quaking, shaking. It means we fear him, that we're going to obey him and do what he says. And then if we fear him, we're going to keep his commandments. Amen. I remember my mother used to walk around with a belt. I feared and I kept her commandments. Amen. Uh, it was some consequences, Brother Crosby. Yes, if you, amen. You didn't want them consequences, right? Yes, and when we crossed that line, we got them consequences. Yes, but you know, it was a better time then. Now you can't even look at them. Right. Talking about calling the police on my daddy. I feared my daddy more than the police. Amen. See, Amen. Amen. I figure, I figure the police came to my house. They were gonna get a whooping, <laughs> and then I was. Amen. A person must do exactly what this verse uh, says. We must do what God says to do, and you know what? We obey Him because we love Him. Amen. We obey Him because what He did for us, what He's done for us. Now, you know, God's already in heaven. Yes, sir. We're trying to get there. Yes, it's sir. not like he needs us there. Amen. It's not like he needs us there. Amen. We, we, he's already there. He's trying desperately to get us there. But we are the ones fighting against him. We need to fight against idolatry. Well, Brother Brown, uh, in the 21st century, there's no idolatry. Yes, there is. Amen. Anything you put before God Amen. has become your God. Man, Some right. folk love their car. Well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if, if a brother or sister a little unkept, they'll drive right by them. Mm -hmm. Won't let them in. Some yeah. folk love their money. Well, Amen. They got a tight fist. Yes, sir. God can't, you can't take nothing out and God can't put nothing in. Mm -hmm. You tell a sick Christian they reach for their wallet and heart at the same time. <laughs> We must not forget the promises that God has made to us. In order to receive those promises, there are things that we need to do. Amen. We must guard against false worship yes, because God judges those who sin. All who continue in sin will be barred from the promised land of God. Amen. Never experience the spiritual conquest and rest promised by God. When the Israelites believer committed adultery uh, and uh, idolatry, they were punished. Amen. And you see, today, uh, we got those who want to change worship uh, to worship service. You got one too many. You got one too many. Didn't Joshua say, if God be God, follow him? 
And if ball be ball, follow him. He says, make a choice. Stop standing halt in between the two. No man can serve two masters. You hate the one or love the other. You despise one or hold the other. You cannot serve God and mammon too. You just need to make a choice. Don't play with God. Because he's not, if you're not giving him all, he's not taking any, and he's not taking anything less than all. And we cannot approach him halfway. Amen. A double-minded man isn't stable at all. He shouldn't ask God for what? Nothing. Amen. Nothing. Either we believe in him or we don't. Amen. He is not, that not with me is against me. You see, we ought to understand that one day, one day, we're going to stand before the mighty judgment bar of God. Brother Cross, get John 4 and 36 for me. John 4 and 36. We have to understand whatsoever we sow, that shall we also reap. And we cannot change that. If we reap to the flesh, we reap death. If we reap to the spirit, we reap eternal life. What does John 4 and 36 say? And he that reapeth, uh -huh. receiveth wages, uh -huh. and gathereth fruit unto life eternal. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And he that reapeth may rejoice together. Two men are working. This is not a one person operation. Jesus never intended. Somebody's going to sow and somebody's going to reap. But you know what? Uh, they both receive wages Amen. because they worked. Amen. Our God is a consuming fire. And we need to understand that one day, everything is going to be burned up. Folk talking about a thousand year reign on earth. Where? When Peter said that everything is going to be burned up. Amen. Brother Cross, we get Hebrews, 12, uh, Hebrews 10, 27 through 31 for me. Everything is going to be burned up. What are you going to do? Just hover in space? Amen. Hebrews 10, starting at verse 27. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment uh -huh. and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy yeah. under two or three witnesses. Mm -hmm. Of how much sore punishment, suppose ye, shall he be thought worthy who <coughs> hath trodden under the foot the Son of God Amen. and hath counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing, and hath done despite unto the spirit of grace. For we know him that he hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. He starts off by saying a certain fiery indignation of judgment. What are you saying? Judgment is sure. Amen. Yeah. It's coming. Fiery indignation to devour the adversaries. He says, if anyone who has rejected the law of Moses uh, uh, without mercy and the testimony of two or three witnesses of how much sore the punishment of those who uh, they, 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 they step on Christ. He said, you mean, you mean to tell me I sent my boy down here and you tap dancing on him? He said, if I kill uh, folk for lesser crimes than that under two or three witnesses, what do you think I'm going to do to you? Amen. Amen. This is my only begotten son. I, I, he came down to help you, and this is how you're going to treat my son? Amen. And it says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. When the, when the Philistines captured the ark, uh, they fooled around and put it in a room with Baal. Amen. And, and, and they went to sleep and they woke up the next day and Baal was face down. Amen. So they, they picked him up. So the next day, he didn't have no head, no feet, and no hands. Amen. You know why? Because... <laughs> He, he was in the presence of God, Amen. and God made that false idol bow down to him. Amen. You see, but they didn't take it like that. They just they wouldn't step 
they stepped over the place where it happened because they were so ignorant of God's word. But you know what? We got folk today that are supposed to be members of the church and they so ignorant of God's word. They wouldn't know. You know what? Uh, they have a Bible, but it's got such a thick layer of dust on it because they don't use it. They, 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 they don't study it. How many in the Lord's church come to worship Bible study and don't have a Bible? Don't have a Bible. Don't bring it. Say they, they on their phone uh, doing Bible study and worship when they playing Candy Crush. Our God is a consuming fire. And he's going to judge people. He knows everything that we say, everything that we think, everything that we do. And I'm just here to tell you, when I stand before him, uh, I might see a consuming fire, Brother Bash, but I, I'd rather be the one that was in the burning bush. Amen. You can tell me to take off my shoes because I'm on hollow, hollow ground. Amen. I don't want that fire that's going to consume me. For all eternity. Amen. There's only two places we can go. Heaven or hell. Amen. You come to God by hearing his word. Believing it. Repenting of your sins. Confessing Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And being baptized. And the Lord adds you to the church. Amen. Be faithful unto death. Amen. And we'll hear those words we long to hear. Well done thy good and faithful servant. Yes, thou hast been keeper of a few things. I'll now make a little many. Right. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, man. You left us for five minutes. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, folks, 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 folks.